please, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Hey, Mr. Tree! Mr. Tree, did you see my toboggan? I'm going tobogganing because it snowed! <laughs> this looks like a good spot. Ready, set, turbo! Oh, I guess I need a hill. Try, try again. Finding a hill. Hmm. Oh, this looks like a good hill. Ready, set, turbo! <laughs> uh, maybe I should try a bigger hill. Oh, this thick hill is really big. Okay, time to try it. Ready, set, turbo! Whoa! Come on. Oh. This stick hill is big, but these sticks get in the way. I need to find a clear hill. Oh, this hill looks nice and open. All right, here we go. And ready, set, turbo! Oh, oh no, wait, uh, turbo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on! The one patch of grass on the whole hill! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try, try again from another spot. Ready, set, turbo! <laughs> oh. This hill still has a lot of stuff on it. Now, this hill looks good. It's big. There's no sticks or trees. Here we go. Ready, set, turbo! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I finally found the perfect hill! I'm going again! <laughs> I wish this hill was smaller. No, no, wait, no, I don't. What am I saying? Big hills are more fun for sliding. Still, we need a chairlift or something. <laughs> Just to hear you sorry. Did you call me a sea umbrella? Mamma mia! That's an umbrella, see? I'm a jelly. No, no, no. I'm not made of the jelly that you eat. I'm not a fruit. I'm made of a special jelly. Jellyfish jelly. Okay, okay. I tell you a bit about us. We live in all of the oceans of the world, and some of us live in fresh water, too. Some of us live near the surface of the water to catch the sunlight, see? And some live in the deep water where it's darker. We have no lungs, no heart, no bones, no brain. Wait a second, that didn't sound so good. But we do have a mouth and a stomach. We also have these. We call them tentacles, and we use them to catch our food. When we touch a fish or a shrimp with our tentacles, we sting them. Then, when they can't move, we eat them. That's why we are called stingers. We also use our sting to protect ourselves, but mamma mia! It doesn't work on sea turtles or sea slugs. Whoa, oh. Oh, that was too close. If it was not for the ocean current, I would have been a turtle food by now. You see that we can swim by opening and closing the bell. But we're not a bell. See, we swim. But it is the ocean's current that decides where we go. Oh, no, it's a night time. So remember, I'm not an umbrella. I'm not a bell. What am I? No, I'm not a bag either. I'm a jellyfish. Mamma me. Good night. <laughs> Super Geek Heroes! Let's learn about the weather, the seasons, and what happens when we plant a sunflower seed in the ground. Season number two is called Summer. 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 Here comes the sun. The sun continues to shine. Yeah. Okay, bye! Whoa, look at all the snow! <laughs> Whoa, snow 
snow, snow. <laughs> Woo! Playing in the snow, making circles. <laughs> Drive this way, making circles. Drive that way, and more circles. Now driving this way. Oh, I'm gonna look over there. Oh, here's an open spot. Oh, I don't recognize this part of the forest. I should get back. Uh, uh, uh oh. Nothing looks familiar. I, I don't know where I am. Oh no, I'm lost. Uh, oh wait, those are my tracks. I can follow my tracks home. <laughs> Zach, you're so smart. I left tracks in the snow wherever I went. Yeah, see, I went this way. I just need to follow my tracks all the way back to where I started. I'm still lost. Oh, oh no, no, wait. I just need to turn the other direction and follow these tracks. Ah, okay. Following my tracks, home to Zerby Town. Oh, I remember this place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember coming through here, too. Following my tracks is easy. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. This is the spot where I went in circles. How am I going to follow my tracks now? My tracks go everywhere. I'm going to stay lost forever. I. No, wait a minute. When I finished making circles, I drove that way, and then I followed those tracks back here. So there must be other tracks that lead into this circle spot. The tracks I made when I came to this spot. And it... Oh, there they are. Those are the tracks that go back to Zerby Town. Which means now that I know how to get back, I can keep playing! <laughs> Such a rock star! Are you writing a new song? Even better! Say hello to the first act of Friday Night School Concert. I'm opening the show! Do you know how important I am? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you're really the side act. No, I don't think you get it. I am not the bubble. I am the rock star. Look at this. By burst your bubble, I mean that I'm sorry to suddenly ruin your good mood. No one's sure where the phrase burst your bubble comes from. It was used all the way back in an 1869 article from a newspaper called the Anglo-American Times. In that article, the meaning was the same, to spoil a good feeling. Some people think the meaning of burst your bubble has to do with the small disappointment you feel when you're blowing bubbles and one pops. You mean I'm not the rock star? Sorry, Max. <laughs> now who's has the bubble burst? Hey, 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 ew, Max. Yeah, okay, bye. I did it! I have two snowballs! And now, let's see... I need to make a snowman, so I need to get one of these on top of the other one. Okay, here we go! Lifting, come on! And no snowball, that's down, not up! Oh, I don't know if I can do this, but that's okay, I'll just try, try again. I just need a way to lift it, like, uh... Oh! Oh, a rope! Haha! <laughs> Lifting the snowball, go! Maybe I just need a smaller snowball. This snowball looks pretty small. Uh oh, it's getting bigger. I better get it back there soon. Hey, they're the same size! I couldn't lift the last one. I won't be able to lift this one. Okay, this one is smaller. Oh. Hey, this is the same size as well. What am I going to do with all these snowballs that are all big? I'll never build a snowman at this rate. Hmm. What can I build with four same-size snowballs? But they're kind of like big tires, huh? 
Oh, hey, I know what to do. Put the snow, a little sculpting here, a little sculpting there, over there, very nice. Mr. Snowball goes right here. Ha-ha, <laughs> finished! A snow zerby! No lifting of heavy snowballs, and snow zerbies are more fun than snowmen because they're zerbies! Ha-ha! <laughs> you wait there, snow zerby. I'm gonna get Lily so she can see you. Maybe that's a snow zack, and we can make a snow lily. Oh, oh, and a snow rex! Whoa. Magnets are pretty cool, but I bet you're wondering. Magnets? How the heck do they work? It's actually pretty interesting. Let me break down the science for you. Every object in the world is made of atoms. These particles are way too small to see with our eyes. One particle of the atom is the electron. In most objects, electrons spin in all sorts of crazy directions. In magnets, all electrons spin in the same direction. This gives magnets a north and a south pole and a magnetic field. Opposites really attracting magnets. Like if you have a north pole and a south pole, they attract to each other. But you can't connect two of the same things together. Steel and iron are two things we can make magnets from. But did you know that the Earth is also a huge magnet? What a coincidence! We can even use magnets to create some really weird and, may I add fun, slime. This is super cool. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh, this is like so cool. Holy guacamole, woo! Oh my gosh! It's like goop and it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, bye! show. It used to be on on the 1950s, and it was the most popular show in all of America. It's in black and white, which is really weird. It's about this lady named Lucy. Uh... Lucy is actually married to a man named Desi. Lucy. I think they're married in real life. It's pretty much the funniest show ever. Yeah. Okay, bye! Do, 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 do. Snow, snow, snow. I love snow, huh? Hey, this snow feels a little different. It's like it's slippery or something. Oh, that, oh, hey, look, there's ice down there. Oh, hey, this must be that big frozen puddle. Oh, I'm gonna go get my snowplow and clear it off, and then we'll have an ice rink. <laughs> ice rink! <laughs> Getting snowplow. <laughs> snowplow! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Plowing the snow with derby might. Hey, there is ice under here, ha-ha! <laughs> and plowing! Oh, the snow's getting kind of heavy. <laughs> this ice is pretty slippery. I haven't cleared off very much. It's not a very big ice rink. I should try, try again. Maybe if I back up and take a run at it, I can push more snow. Let's try this, okay. Ready, set, turbo! And... Boosh! ha <laughs> it worked! If I go fast, I can move more snow. Ha-ha! <laughs> Moving more snow. And taking a run at it, and boosh. <laughs> and taking a run at it, and boosh. This is working. Oh, hey, the ice rink looks bigger already. I'm gonna try it. Let me just put my snow plow down. Yeah, ice rink! the best Zerby ice rink ever! Oh, I can't wait to get the other Zerbies and show them. They're gonna love it! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh, okay, be careful. Don't get stuck in the snow, Zach. Go that way. And there, I'm back on the trail! <laughs> Lily, Rex, you should see the ice rink! Hi, I'm Ruby from Ruby's Studio. It's important to listen to your body when it's telling you something is not safe. Take a look at these kids and see if you think they're being thumbs up, safe, 
or thumbs down, not safe. Check it out. The safety game. It's okay. Oh no! Be careful! Cuidado! That's too far. Uh oh. Stay close to your safe adults. You should always be able to see them. And they should always be able to see you. It's okay. The mother company. night. <laughs> the snow is pretty deep, but I can get through it. I'm Zap Zerby. <laughs> Whoa, oh, getting deeper. Careful. <laughs> I can still do it. Whoa. Oh, oh, hey, look. There's another trail. Another Zerby must have come this way. Oh, they went all the way along here. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's Spike. Hi, Spike. Hi, Zach. This is deep snow, huh? Yeah, it's fun. I was trying to go all the way to the sand pit, but I don't think I'm going to make it. The snow is too deep. We should turn around. No, we just need to try, try again. Oh, okay. How? Hmm. Maybe if I got my snow plow, I could plow it. Plow it? Yeah, you know, move it out of the way. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> snow plow. <laughs> okay, let's try it out. Whoa, it pushes the snow. <laughs> Okay, Spike, I got my snowplow. Wow. Do you think it'll work in this deep snow? Well, it's a snowplow. Uh, I think it should. All right, go ahead, Zach. Okay, plow in the road. And plow in the road. And plow in the road. What's wrong, Zach? I can't push it any further. Hmm. Maybe you should try pushing it to the side. Oh, okay. I'll try, try again and push it to the side. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll get out of your way. Okay. <laughs> Uh, plow to the side, and then plow to that side. Hey, it works! If I push this snow to the side, I can get it out of the way so it doesn't get too heavy. <laughs> Go, Zach! <laughs> push to this side, and then push to that side. <laughs> this yeah, is great! Zach. How much farther to the sand pit? See those trees? Yeah? That's halfway. Whoa. I can make it. Go, Zach! Plow to this side. You can go all the yeah, way? Yeah, I can make it. Plow to that side. Are you tired yet? Yeah, I can do it. Plow to this side. You're Plow. Everyone meet my friend, Mr. P. The name suits him very well. Did you know that a skunk scientific name means bad odor? Skunks will eat all sorts of things. Would you like a plant, a fruit, or even an insect? I have some insects for you right here. Woo! Ow! Oh, no! <laughs> you may be wondering, why isn't the skunk spraying me? Well, um, skunks only spray in defense. And since I'm not doing anything to harm or scare this little guy, he doesn't have a reason to spray me. Their scent glands are under their tail. So if you see a skunk and it's raising its tail, be sure to keep your distance. Skunks can live in all sorts of habitats, including forests. They can also build their own dens, giving them a safe place to just stay in the winter. Skunks mostly stick to waddling on the ground. They may not be the most graceful, but they sure are really cute when they waddle around. Do you know what you call a flying skunk? A smellicopter. Generally, though, skunks are pretty cute and shy animals. Skunks are found in North and South America. They can be striped, spotted, but no matter what pattern they are, they're always black and white. Yeah. Okay, bye! Experience the wonders that nature has to offer. She's going to turn into a butterfly? Beautiful. Oh. Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Friends, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. You'll 
never forget. Today we're going to be making friendship trees for our friends to show them how much we care. First, think of a friend that you want to make a tree for. And then think of all of the great qualities that friend has. Here's what you need. Colorful tape, some fun colored cardboard, and a circle punch or scissors for making your leaves. And also maybe some stickers or magazines that remind you of your friend to glue onto your tree. First, use your tape to make the tree trunk and branches. Now find some magazine pictures to cut out or stickers that remind you of your friend. What kind of stickers do you think that your friend would like on her tree? Wow, guys. Your friends are really gonna love these trees. The Mother Company. Chess champ. Okay, fine. For this round, you win hands down. I won hands down? What does that mean? It means that you won easily. How did win hands down come to mean that? Win hands down was first used in horse racing. Jockeys need to hold the reins tightly in order to make their horse run. If a jockey is winning, he can afford to loosen his hold. Also, he doesn't need to use his whip to make the horse run faster. Now, win hands down is a common term used in the world of sport. Got it. So, how about another round of chess? I am sure I will again. Hands down and eyes closed. Ha! Huh, that's what you think. For cheating. Yikes! Was he set on fire for cheating? Why? Max, you tend to overreact. Fire just means being dismissed from one's job. Oh, but why use the word fired? Why not iced? You know, like you're all frozen and you can't work? Iced? There's a number of explanations as to how fired came to mean being dismissed from one's work. One explanation is that being fired was a form of punishment a long time ago for miners who were caught stealing coals. These miners would have their tools taken away and burned at a pit in front of the other miners. That is harsh. With their tools burned and gone, they would not be able to find another job and repeat their crime. Other trades eventually adopted this practice, and that's how the word fired came about. So, no second chances? Nope, no second chances. That's tough. Everybody deserves a second chance. Agreed. As long as they learn something from their first mistake. Yeah. Okay. Snow is my favorite. Well, right after playing hide and seek. Hmm, I think they're both my favorites. Huh? Oh, oh, Spike, why don't we play hide and seek in the snow? What? Get, get out, Zach. Really? Yeah, really. O okay. One of us has to hide, and the other one has to seek. I like seeking. Oh, that's perfect. I like hiding. So I'll count? Yeah, yeah, you count. Okay. One, two, three, what? four. Oh, okay, okay, five, okay. Five, six. Oh, this is Eight, good. Yeah. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Found you. What? That was fast. I thought my hiding spot was perfect. 
Uh, you're a red car hiding in the middle of a white snowfield, Zach. It's pretty easy to see you. Oh, okay. Well, let me try, try again. Okay. This looks like a good spot. Okay, you count, and I will hide again. Okay. One, two. Well, he three, always starts four, counting right away. Five, oh, six, okay. Seven, okay. Uh, eight, he'll never find nine, me here. <laughs> ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Found you! What? How did you find me so easily? Your tracks, Zach. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. I leave tracks in the snow. Okay, one more time. Okay. One, two, uh, Okay. Three, <laughs> Try following four, these five, tracks. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> not over here. <laughs> not over here. I give up, Zach. Come on out. I'm right here. Whoa. That was some good hiding, Zach. I know. I made a lot of trails so you didn't know which way I went, and then I covered myself in snow so you couldn't see my red against the white. You're a great hider. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I'm stuck. Oh, you stuck? Yeah, you, yeah, Zach, uh, can you on, give me a push? I'll give you a push. Get down there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Almost there. Okay, okay I can do push. it. Wait, oh, hold on. Do so you want to play again? Yeah, but first I want to go warm up in Derby Town. Hiding in the snow is cold. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be up. Get to know the Da Vinci family, Pablo, his sister Zoe, and the hilarious Uncle Leo Da Vinci. Uh, I love doing things together as a family. The Da Vinciables, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Hi, I'm Ruby from Ruby's Studio. It's important to listen to your body when it's telling you something is not safe. Take a look at these kids and see if you think they're being thumbs up safe or thumbs down, not safe. Check it out. The safety game. Uh-oh. You gotta strap it to your car seat, kid. It's okay. Ugh, I'm so hot. I gotta get rid of some of this fur. Uh oh. Private parts should stay private. It's okay. The Mother Company. Find adventure with Justin, Olive, and Squidgy. Explore around the world and see what they find on Just in Time, right here on Cubo. Super Geek Heroes! Let's see what happens when we mix red with yellow. Red! Yellow! Can you guess what colour we have made? Orange! That's right, orange. Well done! Mixing red with yellow makes orange. Yeah. Okay, bye! Driving in the snow! Yeah! <laughs> snow turns! Snow slalom! Uh, I gotta get better at that. <laughs> snow wall bat! <Oosh. laughs> snow jump! Huh? Snow jump! Mm. I didn't jump. Oh, I know. I'll make a jump out of snow, and then I'll use it as a snow jump. <laughs> Is it going to be the best snow jump ever? There, that looks big enough. Okay, now to try it. <laughs> All right, back up so I've got a good run at it. Okay, ready, set, turbo! Snow jump! <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Hmm. The snow is too fluffy. I went right through it. I guess I should try, try again. Okay. Put another bit there. So that's what I had before. It does seem kind of fluffy. Maybe I should pack it down. Okay. Pack, pack, pack. <laughs> pack, pack. Yeah, that looks like it's holding together better now. Okay. Now you try it. All right. Ready? Set turbo! <laughs> snow jump! Hey, that worked a little better. My snow jump is a success. Now to take everything I've learned and build the ultimate snow jump. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make the snow. 
shaping it like this, then pack it down here, pack, 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 there we go. <laughs> Ultimate snow jump, <laughs> pack, pack, pack. <laughs> Ultimate snow jump, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ready, set, turbo! <laughs> that was the best snow jump ever! I can't wait to show the other Serbies! <laughs> Just as soon as I get out of this snow drift. Activity! So today, we're gonna make safety cuffs with your Safe Adults phone number right on the inside. Just to make sure you don't forget it. All you need is some colorful duct tape, some sticky Velcro, and some number stickers. Pick your background tape color. You're gonna cut off a piece about eight inches long. All right, and you're gonna lay this piece down, sticky side up. Pick another color and cut off a piece the same length. You're gonna take this piece and lay it over the other one so that half of it is sticking over the top. Then cut one more piece and leave that piece hanging off the bottom. Flip the whole thing over, put some sticky Velcro on this side. You're gonna put the phone number right in here on the blue part. You can flip it over and decorate your cuff however you want. The Mother Company. Spend some turtle time with Franklin and all his friends. Turtle time is terrific with friends on Franklin, right here on Cubo. No Zuby can enter my snow fort without permission, just as soon as I make a door. What do I have that's big enough to cover this hole? <gasps> ah, now Fort Zuby is once again impregnable, impregnable. No one can get in. The eye will oh, have to go. How's Fort Zuby coming? Uh, I have to try, try again. Oh, I okay, guess so. Okay, Spike, can you come <laughs> back later? Uh, I'm going to try something else. All right. There. Using a box as the gate is perfect. Now, no Zerbi will be able to get it. Isaac! Oh, is that uh -huh. a box for a gate? <laughs> That's fun. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I have a new idea. Try it now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't get in, Zach. <laughs> Excellent. Now you must give me the password. Uh, uh, waffles! Correct. <laughs> now I will let you into Fort Zerbi. Okay. Can I come in yet? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> now you can come in. Hi, Zach. Hi, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm inside. <laughs> uh, come on, let's go to the top. Hold on, I have to put the stick back. <laughs> there. <laughs> come away from me. <laughs> Yay, it worked. Yeah, Four it's finally finished. <laughs> <sighs> So now what? Oh, now we tell all the other Zerbies about it. Oh, yeah, okay, come on, yay! Woohoo! Wait for me! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Zach? Yeah? <laughs> were you supposed to open the door first? Uh, oh, no! I blocked myself out! No! Come on, let me in! The password is Waffles! <laughs> oh, no, you've locked yourself out. I did. Oh. Ah, oh, well, we'll get the other Zerbies in. Maybe we can make a second door. Oh, a second door, that'll be and fun. And a second gate. Well, don't lock yourself out of that gate. I'm going to lock myself. I wonder if nerve endings in a chipmunk body are the same as in a red squirrel body. Oh, Mother Nature, I am an agony. Scientific method. Band-aid! We know so much about the world through the common process codified in the 17th century and developed through the years called the scientific method. Generally, it consists of these steps. One, when you are curious about something, form a question. Then you propose a hypothesis, a guess that be proven true or false. Three, you make a prediction about the results of a test. Experiment. This is where you take action. Gather the information, the supplies, environment, and conditions needed to determine whether the world behaves like your hypothesis. Analysis. Determine what your results show and what action to take next. 
Notice how the scientific method does not give you a clear answer to your question. That's because all questions lead to new processes that itself repeats over and over and over again. Because we are all curious to know more about the future. What happens if I pour this unknown substance into this other unknown substance? My no. hypothesis. Let's do another hypothesis. Yeah. Okay. Adventures, the curious bear who loves to have a good time. And no matter the situation, he is always willing to help. The Adventures of Paddington Bear, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. <laughs> Ruby from Ruby's studio. Check out this fun song about brothers and sisters. Take a look. All right, everybody. We're gonna do a little dance. This isn't like all the other shakes you've done. This is a sibling shake. So grab your brothers and your sisters and you're ready to move. Because it goes a little something like this. Shake, shake, shake with Patty Cake, 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 and Thanks for watching and see you soon at Ruby Studio. The Mother Company. Be a part of the magical world of Maggie as she and her favorite toys explore Nowhere Land, where they can play and have endless adventures. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. <laughs>
Learn English with Amnom. Are you writing a new song? Even better, say hello to the first act of Friday Night School Concert. I'm opening the show. Do you know how important I am? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you're really the side act. No, I don't think you get it. I am not the bubble. I am the rock star. Look at this. By burst your bubble, I mean that I'm sorry to suddenly ruin your good mood. No one's sure where the phrase burst your bubble comes from. It was used all the way back in an 1869 article from a newspaper called the Anglo-American Times. In that article, the meaning was the same, to spoil a good feeling. Some people think the meaning of burst your bubble has to do with the small disappointment you feel when you're blowing bubbles and one pops. You mean I'm not the rock star? Sorry, Max. Join them as she guides him into a world full of adventures and imagination. Stella and Sam, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. <laughs> Learn about the weather, the seasons, and what happens when we plant a sunflower seed in the ground. Season number one is called spring. Sp uh ing. Spring. The rain is starting to fall. Sheep, cattle, horses, and some wild animals like a deer. 
We choose the part of the animal where we want to feed from, let's say the shoulder, then we make a small cut, and like you see, we drink the blood. <laughs> Manuel, quit it! We don't bite humans, and uh, we don't hurt the animals we drink blood from, so you can stop this little show! You are not helping our cause, little brother. People already have a bad idea about us. Some people think we are dirty. Not true. We clean ourselves every day and we groom each other. Some people think we are blind. Not true either. Manuel is just a little clumsy. And most importantly, we are not birds. We are mammals and we are the only mammals to truly fly. You need to see a doctor, Manuel. You know this? Our wings are also our hands. Our hand wings not only help us to fly, but it helps other bats to catch hold of their food, like fruit and insects. It's still daylight outside, so let's get back to resting. Sleep. Hi, I'm Ruby. We have a fun project today to make with your friends or siblings. It's a toy theater with you as the characters inside. Activity! This is a sibling stage. As a team, you and your sibling are gonna decorate it together. You can use construction paper or felt or old magazines for the scenery if you want. All you need is a picture of yourself and your sibling and a cereal box to cut out for the stage. The most important part is that you work together to come up with a plan and use teamwork to make it happen. How's it going, guys? Good. Yeah? If you've got a sibling near you, show them you care. A hug or a high five, whatever feels right to you. See you soon at Ruby Studio. The Mother Company. Follow the adventures of Wibbly, the curious pig who loves having fun. <laughs> it's me! Bye! Bye, Wibbly! Wibbly Pig, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. <laughs> if I do this? Neek. Some people hear us before they see us. Listen again. <laughs> you guessed it. I'm the woodpecker. The great spotted woodpecker, to be precise. You'll find woodpeckers anywhere in the world except Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. Antarctica? <laughs> Cold, no trees. Well, you can imagine why we don't live there. We need trees because we live amongst them. Well, a few of us prefer deserts over forests or woods. Go figure. Ah, oh, that's better. We tree climber woodpeckers have powerful feet that help us to grip and cling to a tree trunk. Like so. Humans need machines, but we use our beaks to hammer away at tree trunks or branches, and we do this for different reasons. To build homes for ourselves. Hey! Or to catch our food with our long, long tongue. We eat insects. And we also eat fruits. And here's a hole I made earlier. I store my nuts here. Anyway, some say that the holes we drill in trees damage them. But that's not true. I said that's not true. Look, we only attack the wooden trees that has already been weakened by insects. We don't hurt trees. We love trees. And don't worry, this drilling doesn't hurt me. Unlike him, we have a built-in shock absorber that stops us from knocking ourselves out. Oops, I better see if this guy is okay. Listen out for us. Bye. Magnets are pretty cool, but I bet you're wondering. Magnets? How 
the heck do they work? It's actually pretty interesting. Let me break down the science for you. Every object in the world is made of atoms. These particles are way too small to see with our eyes. One particle of the atom is the electron. In most objects, electrons spin in all sorts of crazy directions. In magnets, all electrons spin in the same direction. This gives magnets a north and a south pole and a magnetic field. Opposites really attract magnets. Like if you have a north pole and a south pole, they attract to each other. But you can't connect two of the same things together. Steel and iron are two things we can make magnets from. But did you know that the Earth is also a huge magnet? What a coincidence! We can even use magnets to create some really weird and, may I add fun, slime. This is super cool. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is like so cool! Holy guacamole! Woo! Oh my gosh! It's like goop and it's amazing! Yeah. Okay! Tommy, I won't let you give up. And his alien pals, Dinko, Gumpers, Swanky, Scruffy, and Flip. Pet Alien, here on Cuba. For more information, go to cubo.com. Elise and Louise are the kind of friends with dirty knees. Sharing mac and cheese. Sailing across make believe seas. Then one day, down by the bay, the two friends argued over what to play. I know. Let's put on a ballet. Now, let's be castaways. Smiles went away. I turned gray, but then Elise knew just what to say. Hey, I'll be a castaway if you'll be in my ballet. Yeah. When we don't see eye to eye, and there's something you'd like to try. Baba do da, baba do da. Try to be wise and compromise. The Mother Company. Guys, me and my family went on this amazing vacation. It was to Belize. Here is Belize, right below Mexico in Central America. It was the best vacation ever. The best part was zip lining. I loved zip lining. They would call me the screaming monkey. Here's one question I have to ask my mom. Mom, can we go back to Belize? I'll let you know what she says. Yeah, okay, bye. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my parents for all their love and support over the years. Thank you. What are you up to? Oh, uh, hi, Max. How, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to get the idea that you put mom and dad last and that I'm nowhere in your speech. That hurts. No, that's not what last but not least means. It means that the last thing is just as important as the other things you're talking about. The phrase comes from the theater. The stars of the show are often introduced last, but obviously they are just as important as the other cast members. So, in my speech, mom and dad are the last people I mention, but they're just as important as my teachers, my friends, the bus driver, the school Yeah, person. yeah. <laughs> this should say, last but not least, my brother, my best friend, and favorite person in the whole world, Max. Yeah, okay. Bye. Well, shiver me timbers. I made a mess. Nothing your old grandpa can't fix. Now, which of these are yours? None of them. Scotty is like an amazing champion at baseball. And even little Max is already winning medals in gymnastics. No one ever cares about what I like to do. I gotta find something I can do. That'll show them all how great I am. Well, what do you have in mind, Tiger? Follow me. About six feet long and 140 pounds. Huge dino brain. Probably the smartest dinosaur that ever existed. Wildly. 
Yeah? Think maybe you found your thing? But you can't win medals for knowing a lot about dinosaurs. All that matters is that you do what you love. Do what you love and you will be happy. And that's the best trophy of all. The Mother Company. Do zoo animals from the zoo live with you? Uh, At Willis House, they do. Lucky. Willis got a lot of unusual pets. Take a walk on the wild side with Willa and her family of animals. That's me. Willis Wildlife, only on Cubo. Tip. Run away, cat. Run away or I'll spray you. I will. I got that pussy cat good. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm the striped skunk and I'll spray you. I will. Move back. Give me some space. Don't you know that when a skunk stamps his front feet and raises his tail, he's giving you a warning? Now back up. You got nerves, kids. I'll give you that. Most animals like nothing more than to get away from me. Why? Say, have you never heard about my famous chemical defense? If something threatens me, see, I spray him, see, with my disgusting smelling spray. This liquid can make you feel sick. It'll burn your skin. It'll make you lose your breath. And if it hits the eyes, it can even make you blind for a while. Sure, they all learn to stay away. Except for the owl. What's the story with you, Owl? Don't you have a nose? What are you looking at? I could have sprayed that Owl if I'd wanted to. Bad smells ain't the only thing we got going for us. We're also known for our beautiful coats. And as long as we don't spray, we don't smell skunky. Fine, don't believe me. But listen here, we skunks ain't grouchy by nature. But if you live in certain parts of Canada or the United States like we do, You'd better be careful. Bring lots of vinegar and tomato juice in case I spray you, because I will spray you. I will. Everyone meet my friend, Mr. P. Hugh. The name suits him very well. Did you know that a skunk scientific name means bad odor? Skunks will eat all sorts of things. Would you like a plant, a fruit, or even an insect? I have some insects for you right here. Woo! Ow! Oh, no! <laughs> you may be wondering, why isn't the skunk spraying me? Well, um, skunks only spray in defense. And since I'm not doing anything to harm or scare this little guy, he doesn't have a reason to spray me. Their scent glands are under their tail. So if you see a skunk and it's raising its tail, be sure to keep your distance. Skunks can live in all sorts of habitats, including forests. They can also build their own dens, giving them a safe place to just stay in the winter. Skunks mostly stick to waddling on the ground. They may not be the most graceful, but they sure are really cute when they waddle around. Do you know what you call a flying skunk? A smellicopter. Generally, though, skunks are pretty cute and shy animals. Skunks are found in North and South America. They can be striped, spotted, but no matter what pattern they are, they're always black and white. Yeah. Okay, bye! <laughs> about my favorite character in all of Star Wars. Rey, she's like the coolest character. She can fly 
a spaceship. Ray is actually friends with Chewbacca. I once met Chewbacca in Hollywood Studios, and he was this tall. That would make a great Jedi. <laughs> I just love Ray so much, and I want to be her when I grow up. Then we could be best friends. Yeah, okay. I mean, hello, young ones. I was told you were looking to learn a few things about us. The zebras. Are you sure you don't recognize me from books, movies, or TV? Because we plain zebras are stars. All zebras live in Africa, and I'm talking to you now, live from the savannah. Zebras live in big herds made up of different family groups. Here, let me introduce you to my family. Don't embarrass me, you lot. My family is made up of five females and seven young zebras, all led by me, the stallion. Being the most experienced one, I lead them to where the food and water is. Zebras are grazers, and this means we eat grass and ground plants. And for that reason, we need to drink a lot of water every day to wash it all down. And we try to avoid as much as possible our not-so-friendly neighbors, lions, hyenas, and crocodiles. <laughs> Dreadful creatures. Oh, would you look at that? We are such beautiful animals. You know, every one of our black and white patterned coats are different. It's true, you know. No one knows why we have these stripes, and yet no two are the same. And do you know I was voted Best Striped Stallion of the Year? <laughs> oh, ignore them. And before you go, keep in mind that if you ever need a zebra for a film or a book or a TV show, don't hesitate to call. Bye. What have I told you before about embarrassing me in front of TV people? Get out! I can't bring you anywhere! for cheating. Yikes! Was he set on fire for cheating? Why? Max, you tend to overreact. Fire just means being dismissed from one's job. Oh, but why use the word fired? Why not iced? You know, like you're all frozen and you can't work? Iced? There's a number of explanations as to how fired came to mean being dismissed from one's work. One explanation is that being fired was a form of punishment a long time ago for miners who were caught stealing coals. These miners would have their tools taken away and burned at a pit in front of the other miners. That is harsh. With their tools burned and gone, they would not be able to find another job and repeat their crime. Other trays eventually adopted this practice, and that's how the word fired came about. So, no second chances? Nope, no second chances. That's tough. Everybody deserves a second chance. Agreed. As long as they've learned something from their first mistake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye! We're not done. Next time you circle around. I smell something. Humans. There. State your business. What? You want to ask about us spotted hyenas, eh? OK, I have a minute. Shoot. How many kinds of hyenas are there? Easy. Everyone should know that. Three kinds. Striped, brown, and best of all, my kind. Spotted. Look nearly anywhere in Africa and you'll find us. Except in the rainforests, we don't like them. What do hyenas like? Easy. Open dry grassland, stony deserts, other hyenas. Yeah, we're social animals. Oh, yes, we are. We love to be social, don't we? A group of hyenas is called a clan. And what's my part in the clan? Speak up. I'm the alpha hyena. That means I'm the clan boss. I give the orders and the others obey. What are you asking? 
Am I a boy or a girl? Don't you know? Oh, I'm a girl, all right. It's so blindingly obvious. You can tell I'm a female by the difference in our size. Female hyenas are bigger and stronger than male ones. Private Shorter here, he gets it. Our society is matriarchal, which means females are in charge and males follow, right, Shorty? Hyenas are famous for our laughing. Ah, funny, right? Hyenas are hunters. Nothing's too big for us. Gazelles, zebras, even rhinoceroses. Easy. See this? Hyenas have the strongest jaws in the animal kingdom. When we feed, there's nothing left over. We eat a lot. Bones, horns, even teeth. Crunchy. Right, time's up. We've got work to do. Right, you. Get the others. And let's show that lion how it's done. Quick march. Ruby Studio! Hey, little fishies. You hungry? Thanks, Ruby. Mm. Move mm. over. Mm. Hey, out of the way. I like the red flakes. No, I want the red. It's my favorite color. Easy, guys. There's enough for both of you. I just feel like it's not fair because I never get the red food. And Finnegan, what are you feeling about this? I like the red ones best, too. So what can we do about it? How about we split them evenly? So you each get the same amount? Okay, sounds yeah, great. Yeah, that's a good idea. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. five. I'm so glad you agreed on a solution. Us too. Bon appetit. The Mother Company. Super Geek Heroes. I wonder what animal is hiding inside the barn. Let's listen to the sound. Did you hear a barking noise? Can you guess what kind of animal barks like that? That's right, a dog. Well done. Yeah. Okay, bye! <laughs> hey guys, I am so into karate these days. It's like my favorite thing to do. And I love the uniform. And of course, you need to have the belt too. And you put it on like this. Cross. There we go. If I get my orange belt, then yeah, I got my orange belt. Karate? I'm totally freaking out about it. Ah! Yeah. yeah. Okay. my wife. She wants me to tell you about wolves, things that only a wolf could know, which I do. I'm a wolf. Between movies, old stories, I'm doing it! You might think we howl at the moon. <sighs> Listen, guys, the short version is we don't howl at the moon, but we do howl. We howl to say hello to one another, to defend our territory, to signal the start of a hunt. But in the case of my wife, she just was howling as loud as she possibly can! Let me correct some of the other wrong ideas you might have about us. Firstly, we are not greedy, so we will never kill more than we can eat. We do not, I repeat, do not attack humans. Maybe a sick wolf would, though. Stay away from sick wolves. And lastly, we do not run an adoption agency. We do not raise human children. <laughs> the truth is, wolves are very nice creatures. Well, most of us are. We live in packs, in forests, and a wolf pack is as organized as your human families. We eat different things, from fruit to mushrooms to small and big animals. 
Me and my wife were alpha wolves, leaders of the pack. At least one of us is. All right, I'm coming already. See you again sometime. Hi, I'm Ruby from Ruby's Studio. When a new baby joins your family, there can be a lot of big changes and big feelings. Here's a story one little girl wrote about becoming a big sister. Is he coming today? It's gonna be another five months, honey. <gasps> I felt a move! The next day, I got to go to the hospital and there he was. There he is, Nana, my baby brother. Ugh, why does he cry all the time? Mama taught me the word conflicted. Conflicted is when you feel two things at once. Like how I love my brother so much, but I also feel really jealous of him sometimes. Shh, hush, little baby, shh. But then, I see his cute little face, and I just love him even more. The Mother Company. Follow Baddington Adventures, the curious bear who loves to have a good time. And no matter the situation, he is always willing to help. The Adventures of Paddington Bear, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Get gadget. Yes, yes, Dr. Claw. I'm on my way. First, I have to prepare my weapon. A new watch for gadget. Oh.